We want to spend a little time talking about a very specific syndrome that you must know about when you're taking care of a new infant. And you must know about it for anyone who might be taking care mm -hmm. of your new infant. And it's called shaken baby syndrome. Maureen, why don't you tell them about shaken baby syndrome? So shaken baby syndrome results from the violent shaking of a baby's head that can cause brain bleeding, brain damage, or even death. Now, what are the symptoms? How do you know a baby may be suffering from shaken baby syndrome? Well, the signs are they're very irritable, very, very, very cranky. They're lethargic or listless or sleepy, too sleepy to be explained. Lethargic is when a baby is just kind of blah. Where right. you, know, you know your baby's usually kind of, mm -hmm. kind of tight and cute and interact with you, and they're just right. not. That, they're just, that's, they don't want to do anything, exactly. Tremors or shakiness, vomiting, seizures, and coma. Now, the first rule we're going to talk about regard to shaken baby syndrome is never, ever, ever shake a baby when it's angry or frustrated. And there are a lot of things, and we'll talk about them in this video, things like colic, that can make a parent very frustrated for a young baby. And just having a young baby in general, it's a, it's a major change in your life. So rule number one is never ever shake a baby when you're anger or frustrated. If you find that you're losing your temper with your young child, put your baby down somewhere safe, either inside the crib or a playpen, and just walk away. Leave the room, regroup, calm yourself down, call a friend, call a relative, do whatever it takes to mm -hmm. calm down. If you know that there is the potential for you getting angry again in the future, then plan a sequence of steps. What are you going to do the next time your baby angers you, next time you feel You're yourself so getting frustrated? And tired and... Write those steps down and make sure you follow them. Right. The last thing you want to do is shake the baby. And what's happening right. in there is that little head is sort of, rat the brain is rattling around in that little skull. Right. And it's very delicate. And things and they can get bleeding. And that's the biggest concern. Right. And it can cause horrendous brain damage for something. You don't have to drop a baby on the floor to right. have horrendous brain damage. It just takes some shaking to bounce that little brain around right. and it can cause some harm. Shaking alone can seriously injure and we see this absolutely on a, on a unfortunately more regular basis than we'd like. Definitely. What you really want to do and Maureen mentioned this is develop a support system and best do it before your baby is born so that you actually have things that mm -hmm. you can do for your child where you know uh, you know there will be days when you are just exhausted. The, if you feel like there's any chance you might shake your baby she mentioned, mm -hmm. put the baby in a safe place, and you've developed this support system where you're going to call Mary, or you're going to call your mother, or you're going to call your best friend to come mm -hmm. over and help. Do it before things get out of control. You can feel it coming before things get out of control. And there are some wonderful hotlines. There's an 866 number, 866 243 22 Two nine. That if you're feeling like you're at your wit's end, pick up the phone, talk to them, and they'll give you pointers on what you can do to sort of de-escalate the situation. You can go to parenting classes. This is taught in almost all parenting mm -hmm. classes out there. And then anyone who might be taking care of your baby, your spouse, right. your parents, your friends, your neighbors, anyone mm -hmm. needs to understand what shaken baby syndrome is. Exactly. And so we talked about other people taking care of your child. You may need some type of child care center, a daycare center that's going to help take care of your baby. Before you enroll your child in a daycare center, Center, make sure that their staff has been educated about shaken baby syndrome. This is mandated, but you want to just double check that the staff there understand this phenomenon and what it's all about. Never ever ask anybody who's hot tempered to watch your child. The cases that we've seen when you start talking to family and friends, they all knew that Uncle Billy or the boyfriend had some anger management problems. So don't ever ever ask somebody who's hot tempered to watch your child. Also, go with your gut. If you think your child's been abused, don't ignore the signs. Get your baby help immediately because time can be of the essence. Remember that most cases of shaken baby syndrome occur when babies are about two months of age. These are little kids and about half the times it's the father that's the abuser. So you as the mother, you as the protector, you as the parent need to protect your child. If you have a gut that something's gone wrong with your baby, get them checked out immediately. It tends to be males in their mm -hmm. late teens and early 20s that are the most often responsible for shaken baby syndrome. It often is the mother's mm -hmm. boyfriend who is there taking care of the child. Right. Again, don't assume that just because someone has become a parent that they know about this syndrome or that they're the right person to be taking care of your child. Again, all of us are just responsible for making sure our kids are safe. Mm -hmm. So be careful and know that that's a high-risk group. Not that every teenage male is going to do this, but just know right. that that's the group we see the most commonly that do this. Daycare workers do this. So mm -hmm. this is one thing that Maureen mentioned. Make sure that they all know about shaken baby syndrome, and they've all been taught sort of how not to mm -hmm. do this. Right. And I'll tell you, moms do this too. 
So this is an across the board. Things, anyone who's taking care of a baby can have this happen. There are things on the web like don'tshake.org or shakenbaby.com that give you more information on the topic. And the most important thing is plan ahead of time that this might happen. Know what your sort of game plan is going to be, what, that you're going to put the baby in the crib. Make sure that they're safe. Take a step back. Take a breather. Get on the phone and get some help. And I think a good point to say also is that these are not parents that intended to hurt their child. They just reached their breaking point and at some point shook right, their baby. Crying. Have you asked them, is this what you intended to do? Did Never. You, and they would, they'd say, no, this is not what I intended to do. So everybody can have a reach a breaking point. If you know you tend to get more frustrated more easily, right. know what you're going to do ahead of time. Put and know that down, this is something away. that doesn't seem like it right. could be harmful, that can be horrific. Right, exactly.